Nearly 200 cities across the country are using a tech tool to keep an eye on what you say online. That includes six cities in Minnesota and western Wisconsin. They're using artificial intelligence to monitor social media. David Schumann explains what they're looking for and why some say it could be a problem. The Brooklyn Park Police Department wants to know what you think of it. How we can augment our messaging to increase that trust, increase that legitimacy, and, and, and raise that positive sentiment. To help achieve that goal, BPPD contracted with a company called Zen City in December 2020. According to its website, Zen City uses artificial intelligence to aggregate social media posts and comments about things happening in the community. It says everything it gathers is public. Then, Zen City produces reports for its clients that analyze the discourse on a given topic. No one is individually identified in the reports. Someone who says, I hate the Brooklyn Park Police Department, we'd be able to see, you know, negative sentiment is such and such. A typical analysis looks like this. It includes total number of interactions on a topic and breaks down opinions. The city of St. Paul is using Zen City on a free six-month trial basis. News to resident Don Gemberling. Well, but, but no, hell, notice, no. Don's a privacy advocate who says this is like someone hearing every conversation at a cocktail party all night. He doesn't think that's right. The city of Woodbury has also used Zen City since January. Uh, I think it's been a very useful tool for us. I think it helps us communicate with the, the public better. But Woodbury didn't communicate to the public that it started using Zen City. Neither did St. Paul nor Brooklyn Park. The people who sell the message, we shouldn't worry about this, part of their message is always transparency. Well, but if you don't do transparency, then how do you mitigate the issues? David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. A St. Paul spokesperson says the city won't be renewing the trial when it expires at the end of next month. Woodbury is paying $16,000 for the year-long contract and Brooklyn Park is paying $18,000.